We're out here trying to find the maple monster. We haven't seen anything. We're just looking around. It seems like there's- OH MY GOD! This is Anna Morgan reporting live from the University of Michigan Biological Station. It is the 50 year anniversary of the disappearance of an amazing scientist from this station. Dr. Syrup. Here we are at the site where he was last seen before venturing out to the Maple River to conduct research. It is rumored that he was mysteriously transformed into some type of monster. And at this pinnacle anniversary, there is a whole team of research scientists here, monster hunters here, looking for this monster. River and we saw the maple monster. We were hunting for it. We saw signs of it. Michaela got attacked. <laughs> what we just saw was Sita giving us an impression of what we think the maple monster might look like if it was seen with the real human eye. No one saw it though. All I know is it had drug teeth. <laughs> as long as some part of each student is present, I think I have succeeded as a TA. <laughs> <sighs> I tried to warn her. I tried to warn her. It got her. It got her hand. <laughs> One definitive thing that we do know about the maple monster is it's a very distinct mating call that happens maybe twice a year. Uh, it's very occasional, but it sounds a little like this. I saw him! I saw him! I, come on, come on, we gotta go, come on, come on, right now! He's gone.